Hello and welcome to Neon Tutorial 6. In this video we're going to discuss Neon's new stacking feature. So this is going to be a pretty short video uh, on the new stacking mode built into Neon which is utilizing in this example some new features of AUM and we're also using Neon in collaboration with Helium in some examples. Now all these examples are courtesy of Greg Riker so a big thank you to Greg. take a closer look at stacking mode. Now in the opening example you can see various uh, instances of Neon all stacked on the same channel in effect slots and you'll also notice that the launch button is now available in AUM even for anything in an effect slot which is fantastic. Now audio passes through a stack from top to bottom and generally uh, an instance of Neon will only allow audio to pass through if the audio monitor is turned on in settings. Now by default uh, monitoring is usually turned off. The only time we allow pass through is during a recording session otherwise uh, audio does not pass through. Now in order to balance the output of the three individual or four individual instances of Neon if you tap and hold on the play button you'll see here we've not only got uh, audio out level but we've now also got the ability to pan left and right. So if you do that within each instance you have a rudimentary uh, mix control there. Now tapping one of the launch buttons on one of these uh, three um, instances of Neon here will schedule that clip for the next measure. Now that's all well and good, but if you've got say five instances there, it can be a bit tricky to be pressing certain buttons and deactivating others. So we've added this new uh, launch start option, which by default is turned off. Now I'm gonna turn uh, uh, exclusive on for this instance. It's gonna ask me whether I want to set it for all instances in that stack. And that's great because that allows you to uh, pick one instance, one launch button, and uh, while that one is activated, the others will be automatically deactivated. So let's take a look at an example of a bunch of stacked Neon instances, uh, all set to exclusive mode. So hopefully you can see there that when we press one of the launch buttons uh, the other launch buttons are excluded and the new uh, selected uh, uh, instance of Neon starts at the next measure. Now in the opening example we had a couple of instances of Neon, Kick and Symbol uh, on channel 3 that were set to inclusive mode. Now when we select the launch button for uh, Kick it automatically selects everything on that stack. Uh, that's because we're in inclusive mode. Now we've got a couple of instances of Neon on channel 1 which have got base 1 and base 2. Now these are set to uh, exclusive so when we select the base 2 it excludes base 1 and it plays on its own. 
Now on the second channel we've got an item called Riffle which is currently playing and if we toggle that off it will stop playing at the next bar. Now while that's great for live performances, if you want to uh, automate uh, the changing of uh, clips, you can also do that via MIDI and you can see here we have a copy of Helium uh, and Helium is going to now drive uh, these various clips. Now since both Helium and Neon both support uh, launch uh, mode, uh, we can ha use a mixture of the two, like in this example. So the two instances of Helium are driving a couple of AUV3s and uh, the two instances of uh, Neon are just playing uh, loop sample loops. Um, now currently Helium does not support inclusive exclusive modes but that will come very shortly. Now this next example is a nice soulful piece uh, using four instances of Neon uh, and uh, utilising an exclusive mode. And to finish off this uh, pretty short tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you this final uh, piece, which doesn't actually use stacking mode at all. It's just plain old launch mode. Mm -hmm. 